Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make simple but super yummy cabbage dry curry. And I am going to make it without tomatoes today because today I am out of tomatoes. Although the taste will be super yummy and super delicious. So guys, let's see the recipe. At first, I have taken a cabbage of about 400 grams and I chopped it as you can see. And here I have taken uh, 3 medium sized onions. Uh, finely sliced and about one and a half tablespoons of ginger garlic and green chili crush i crushed it but uh, you may take the paste there is no problem and i have taken green chilies according to taste and i'm not going to use any red chili powder for this recipe but you may take only ginger garlic paste and red chili powder separately there is no problem as you wish and you may take a medium sized tomato finely chopped if you want to use it so now I'm adding some cooking oil in the pan and when the oil is heated well, I'm going to use some tadka, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, two bay leaves and a pinch of asafoetida for a better digestion. And after all the things are crackled well, we need to add the onions here. So now everything is done. I'm adding the onions in the pan. After adding onions, I am going to add some salt according to taste. If you are using tomatoes, then add salt after adding tomatoes. I am adding some salt according to taste, about one and a half teaspoons. And after that, we need to fry the onions until a nice brown color. After the color has started to be brown, I am adding the paste of ginger, garlic and green chilies. And after that, we need to mix everything very nicely until uh, the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. After the raw flavor is gone, it's high time to add the tomatoes in the pan. But now I am not using tomatoes, so I have added some water. After adding a little quantity of water, I am going to use some uh, powder spices. I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder. I added half teaspoon toys. And now I am adding some Kashmiri Lal Mirch powder that means paprika powder for a brighter color. I added green chilies according to taste for spiciness. So I am skipping the red chili powder. And now I am adding about half teaspoon of garam masala. We need to mix everything well and after that I am going to cover the pan for some time until the oil is released from the spices mixture and the water is dried up. The heat is on medium to low now and after about 3 to 4 minutes, this is the texture of the spices mixture. The water is almost dried up and the oil is released from the spices mixture. So now we need to add the cabbage into the pan. I am adding them and after that we need to mix everything well again. The spices should be mixed up nicely with the cabbage. So we need to stir it nicely and after that I am going to cover the pan for some time again on medium to low heat so guys after about five to six minutes on medium to low heat some water was released from the cabbage and it's dried up now but the cabbage is not yet cooked fully so now i'm going to add some water to cook the cabbage fully and after that we need to mix everything well again and after that I am going to cover the pan for some time until the veggies are 100% cooked. In between we need to uncover the pan and stir it nicely and check it. So guys after about uh, 6 to 7 minutes this is the texture of the curry. The water is not yet fully dried up but the cabbage is fully cooked now. So we need to dry up the water but before that I am going to use some other things in the curry. So at first I am going to use some roasted peanut powder but it's not necessary for you. If you don't want to use it then you may skip it easily there is no problem. But our family likes it so much so I am adding it about 3 tablespoons of roasted peanut powder I am using. It will enhance the taste of the curry. And now I am using some uh, fresh coriander leaves finely chopped. And after that we need to mix everything well and we need to dry up the water the rest of the water so I'm stirring nicely and now I'm using some garam masala again about half teaspoon of garam masala I'm adding and mixing everything well until the water is nicely dried up and after that our curry is ready dry curry is ready and I'm turning the heat off and serving the curry hot 
सो गाइज यू मे सर्व दिस करी विथ बॉइल राइस और रोटी और चपाती इट विल बी सुपर डिलीशियस विथ ऑल इंडियन स्टेपल डिशेस सो गाइज ट्राई दिस सिंपल रेसिपी एट होम एंड डोंट फॉर्गेट टू शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस विथ मी हिट द लाइक बटन गाइज इफ यू रियली लाइक द वीडियो एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग होप टू मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय टेक केयर